This is a very special day, and I would like to just give a little explanation of how Tony and I, Tony West, Elder Tony West, our heart guru, how we first met and decided that we were on the journey together as, as two African men. Well, some of you may remember the Dunbar Center on Nelson Road. You remember that. We were, we were having a, a Kwanzaa, and Tony had not been involved in Kwanzaa with us anyway uh, at that time. And we can't, we caught each other's eyes and decided that we were going to make this journey now together. And from that point on, almost, or more than almost 50 years, maybe even a little more than 50 years ago, we have been working together, growing together, and loving together, and enjoying each other's agreements and disagreements together and just becoming stalwart as two African men, African old men together. And, and we, we have not parted. I want you to know that. I, pre I prepared a, a, a statement that I want to read, but I wanted to say a little word before, and I want to say the words to the family. Our families have grown together, and we will not be, be departed. And I hope that, uh, they, that we can uh, always have that example before us and remain in unity no, no matter what happens in our lives together because we understand that we are Africans and we will always be Africans before and after this scene that we're living in right now. So let me begin the prepared statement because I want this to be a part of the record. And so, uh, and I'm, I'm calling it uh, a so solemn, beautiful, and blessed day. Greetings, sisters and brothers. On this solemn day, let us together in unity, love, peace, harmony, and action give reverence and respect to the one great universal spirit. Praises be to you, O Ra, Lord of truth. We know that the great spirit has been called by many names, but we must never let anyone of the name, divide us as African people. We must not let any of the names divide us because we know that there is but one great universal spirit and that spirit existed long before and after the, universe, the English or other such words God came into existence. Let us be thankful and respectful to our African ancestors on whose shoulders we stand and whose actions, teaching, and wisdom is still with us. Today, brothers and sisters, young and old, let this be the platform from which we all of our actions come today and forevermore. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. So again, today is a solemn day. Elder Tony West is demanding that we stop, look, listen, hear, and act. Stop analyze and don't criticize. It, is, it, it may be garbage, it may be harmful, or it may be enabling, but if we know, but we know that we must balance truth and reason as we grow in divinity. Look carefully at what you think you see and sift it through the wisdom passed down from our ancestors. Listen to the eternal spirit that all us allow ourselves to be patient so that we receive and hear clear righteous directions. Then as we as Africans will act with and manifest truth in every act and action. Today is a beautiful day. Elder Tony West is demanding that we be energized, actualized, and particularized. Look with all our all-seeing eye, the beauty in everything, be energized with the fact that death without dying is demonstrated throughout the universe, throughout all of nature. Let us not be dismayed by the fact that death comes, but, but be aware that we are not dying just because death came. Be actualized by ensuring that every act taken brings rhythm, order, harmony, and thus engraving the, for eternity becomes a reality for every one of us. 
He directed with righteous hands in our daily lives. Elder Tony continues to provide blessed days through his consistent teachings. Let us remember that, brothers and sisters. Let, let, let us remember that disagreeing, how to learn, he learned how to disagree, but continue to teach and work and love his family and love each other because Tony loved everything he touched. Let us build and correct and have correct usage of ritual because Tony taught us ritual and he taught us the meaning of rituals in every phase of our lives. Let us not just let it be an art form to have rituals, but let the rituals be the guiding forces in everything that we do throughout our lives. The El Tony offered throughout his professional service fully to families, organizations, and communities, paid or unpaid. We, no one can say that he withheld any of his good spirit from us and his good ritualized teachings to, from us. And the servant, Elder Tony West, has been a hallowed and is now a hallowed servant and will continue to be a hallowed servant who teaches and brings each one of us blessings every day. And I say, I say these written words because they have come from my heart and I didn't want to miss any of those things that I wanted to say about him because he's been so vital to my family, to me, and to this community. I say, I say.